welcome back to my channel this is Tiffany from TV Butter thank you so much for joining me today so if you hear any noise that is because there is another renovation going on with my landlord I don't know what is she thinking but this is it I'm going to record this voiceover no matter what so anyway um, please excuse the noise in today's video, I'm going to finally show you a tour of my studio. Since I started my home business almost two months ago, I have been adding beeps and bobs in my studio. So as a journal maker, I would love to keep my desk a little bit of inspiring with different materials like fabrics, vintage photos, or prints, etc. And with those elements or materials, I would be able to create a positive vibes for myself on a daily basis. Second of all, functionality is another key feature that I'm looking for. I need to focus on making journals, I need to focus on my business, right? So I need to have my basic, my go-to, etc. around me to be handy, like my planner, like some of the handy materials, pens or whatnot. Anyway, after some rearrangements, I am pretty satisfied with the setup right now. So I thought you might be interested to see what's in my studio. I hope this video would inspire you to create your own little happy space. So let's get started. We have our printer section on the left corner. Under the printer, it is a three drawer cabinet where I store most of my journal supplies. I mainly store my fabric supplies in the first drawer, as well as this file folder to secure some important files from my business. For example, like bank account information, my business license, and some receipts. <laughs> For the fabrics, I collect different styles of vintage fabrics from different sources, and I put them all together in this box, as well as I have some modern fabrics as well. I also have some to be used label sticker that I really need to use for packing my orders. You wanted to like all those bodies without fun. Like In the second drawer, here I store most of my vintage paper collection. I collect them from time to time and I always coffee dye the paper before I put together a junk journal. I have lined paper, typewriter paper, accounting paper blank paper, grid paper, and so on. And I also have some thicker cardboard to make bigger junk journals. Now you know how much I love vintage paper. I think that is the reason why I love junk journal after all. Also, I have some bigger size envelope here to pack larger orders. So yes, the second drawer is all about paper and basic supplies. I can do the last drawer is where I store my used traveler's notebook inserts and I have some stationery subscription kits from last year that I haven't used at all. Also here I store some of the traveler's notebook covers in different sizes. On the left corner, I have some ribbons and other planner related miscellaneous. I should take some time off to reorganize this drawer to be honest, because this drawer is for the least used items as you can see. Maybe I can donate them or maybe I can use them more often. I have two desks on the other side of the room. The one on the left is for making journals. This is where the magic happens. It usually doesn't look as clean. I would have my sewing machine, my vintage ephemera packs, and fabrics all over the desk. It would be very messy. You could know that if you follow me on Instagram because I always show how messy my desk is with no shame. But for a better view of the desk tour, of course I clean it the day before. So yeah, this is the desk which I make journals on and film most of my videos. The other desk is my main desk. This is where I journal, I read, I write, and I relax. This is my happy nook, if you may say. Um, I have everything I love the most on this desk, and I try to decorate it in an inspiring way. So from the left, I have some Muji organizers. The top one is for storing my washi tape collection. 
the bottom one is a five drawer or shelf organizer on the first and second shelf i have my favorite stamp collection they are from different artists that i've been following for quite a long time and i love them i keep them handy and easy to assess so i won't forget to use them whenever i journal You've always left behind the curtain. The third shelf is where I have my wax seal collection and some of my Copic or Co Copac markers. To be honest, I don't use those markers too often, but I think this little shelf are the best place to store them. The fourth shelf is where I keep all my Tombow markers. Again, I don't use them too often, but I know where they are whenever I need them. On the bottom shelf, I have some Distress Impact from Tim Holt. So this is the little organizer. Moving to the right, at the back, I have a photograph that was gifted by my father-in-law. Then I have a calendar. At the front, I have a huge mason jar for watercoloring and two candles and some of my plants. They are my must on a daily basis. They help me to relax and recharge. Anyway, my plants here are this little peperomia, if I pronounce it right, that I got from a local shop. I upcycle a candle pot and I use it to repot this peperomia. And I'm propagating some pothos plants in a little jar. Look at the little root. Isn't it beautiful and cute? I feel like if I'm stressed out, when I light up a candle and I take a good look of the growing baby leaves, everything is fine. Do you have the same feeling as me? Or I'm just being weird? <laughs> I don't know. What makes you relax when you're stressed out? Let me know in the comment down below. Next is my main working area, but I try to keep it clean and simple. Here I have my iPad. This is the iPad Pro 12.9 inches and my keyboard, which is the Logitech K380. And I usually have my planner and pen pouch handy. Since I just started my business not too long ago, an iPad is enough for me to fulfill my daily tasks, like replying emails, jotting down notes for brainstorming, browsing Tumblr and Pinterest, watch Netflix and YouTube when I need a break. Well, that sounds a lot, but trust me, that is basically everything that I do with my iPad. I do edit my videos on my husband's desktop though, which is a more professional gear I could use. I think I'm down with you. I think I'm down with you. I know you came for truth. You know I came for you. Under my iPad, I have this little storage drawer which is from Muji as well, to store my go-to stamps and post-it note. There is a wood divider that came with the drawer, which you can place anywhere so you can have two different sections at your preference. I leave a bigger section for my stamps and a small section for post sticky notes and washi tapes. Life goes on, baby, let's catch up. Moving forward, I have a wooden tour box from Klaski to house or my watercolor supplies. I have a permanent white paint and eraser and a sponge. On the top compartment, I house all my handmade watercolor paints, either made by myself or other artists. On the bottom compartment, I have some pencils for sketching and more watercolor paints from different brands. I don't think your eyes have ever looked surprised. And I don't feel the same each time you call my name. Break up, split up, life goes on, baby, let's catch up. I always leave the cap opened, 
So I can put my ceramic missing palette here along with the photo of me and my husband and a towel. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, I have my packing area. I got this 5 drawer cabinet from IKEA and it works great. It's not too big and narrow enough for me to tuck it in in the corner besides my desk. On top of the cabinet, I have my Blue Yeti mic and my charger for my phone, and some magazines and notebooks for handy. In the first drawer, I usually store my pen pouch here. This is my on-the-go pen pouch. I will do another video to talk about what's in my pen pouch and what's in my backpack as a small business owner for working a couple hours in a cafe. So this pen pouch will be included in that video. Then I have my current reading and my sketchbooks. We never choose our way to die. On the other side, I have more sticky note packs another pen pouch, I which I use to store less used pens, like see. my fountain pens, multicolor pens. Some words to heal and a place this is my ring bound planner, but for One Book July, I switched to another planner, so that is the reason why I put it in the drawer. Underneath, I just have an extra notepad. I don't want to compose for you at all. In the second drawer, I have a packing notepad for leaving sweet messages to my customers. And I have a cutting board. Underneath the cutting board is my weight scale to weight my packages. Left, just a shadow in your eyes. I also have a measuring tape to measure my packages along with some twine and packing labels. The third drawer is where I store all my filming equipment. Um, I have these two extra lens, battery charger, backup batteries for my cameras, and oh, I have the sewing machine foot pedal. And the rest of the drawers, I just store all the packaging envelopes that I use for my orders. I decided I will use those cardboard envelopes, which I think they would provide a better structure for my packages, so I feel less stress and worries about the shipping condition. The chair that I'm using is a mid-century design-inspired woven seat from Structube. I added a little cushion to support my back. The carpet is from my parents when they visited India a couple years ago. They gifted me this carpet, now it's a part of my studio. So that is the end of my studio tour. I always believe that you have to love where you work, decorate a place with all your personal elements so you can be passionate and inspired. I hope you enjoyed this video and inspired to create your own place. Okay, see you in my next video soon. Bye-bye!